All right, guys, so it's been a couple of weeks since you saw me uh, buy and clean this car that I bought, uh, this Fiesta. Um, the mould keeps coming back, so there's definitely a leak. It's somewhere here in the boot because, I don't know if you can see, there's still a lot of water getting into the boot somehow. Um, but obviously, we're going to make it a track car because I think that's what it's destined to be. Um, so first of all, I'm going to start removing the interior because these seats, I feel like I could sell them but they do need to be deep clean, so they're coming out. I'm gonna leave the driver's seat in just for the time being, just so I can move the car, but the rest of the stuff is coming out. So first of all, let's get rid of these rear seats.
realized so the car is practically stripped as far as I can go now there's a lot more to come out but I'm gonna split into sort of two videos because this is mainly stuff you can get to quite easy my plan so I've got a set of bathroom scales there with a basket on it I'm gonna fill the basket with all the bits I'm gonna tot up how much everything weighs this basket barely weighs a kilo so it's not registering it on the scale but I'm just gonna factor that in as maybe like five and uh, point five of a kilo so but yeah I'm not gonna film all of it but I'll just film a bit showing me putting it all in So guys, I don't know if you can see, like there for example, all of that weight there comes to 5.1 kilo. Right guys, so how much did all of that interior stripping um, come to? Well, um, my first issue was finding a scale big enough. Um, my little contraption worked, but I don't actually know how accurate it is, so don't take this word for word and, and whole truth but it, it seems to be what i think it would be um but anyway so that first pile that i made which was all the gubbins that i'm going to throw away and also the just all the fittings that are in the car so all the nuts and bolts came to 5.1 kilograms so that's quite a considerable amount just in nuts and bolts and bits of plastic that sort of attach to things um and just bits of off cuts of carpet Next was quite a lot of the bigger stuff, so that included the glove box with the um, the oh, what's it the, the the log book and the jack and the rear speakers, the rear seat mounting frames and all that sort of stuff. That came to fifteen point two, so that was a considerable weight saving. Um, the next part was just a few of the boot plastics. Again, I didn't think this would be a lot. Two point four kilos. It's not a lot. Um, the bigger amount of plastics come from the rear sort of speaker housing and sort of like the actual back seat where all the that sort of gubbins is that was six kilo so all in all on the interior we've stripped out 29 kilos now i couldn't find something big enough to weigh the seat so i had to go on google and had a look so people were saying depending on the variant whether you've got half leather full leather heated all that all that sort of stuff they're anywhere from 40 to 50 kilo now they are the half leather seats so I'm going to split the difference and go 45 kilos thereabout. So I've totted up all the mass here. The only other thing that I didn't show on camera was um, the spare wheel and stuff like that that lives in here. Um, that was about 20 kilo because uh, they're big iron bloody spare wheels. So they're going to weigh a lot. But all in all, and now you can see it's like a shed in here. It's missing quite a lot. And there is still more that could come out, by the way. This isn't final. So this is going to be a two-part video because I've still got the doors, the airbags, um, the air conditioning is still in, the catalytic converter is still on it. All these things sort of add up. So, you know, a two-part video in the future when I do more. There's also the washer motor above me and the rear window wiper. So again, could be another easy 50 kilos coming out of this. Easy. Um, more to look forward to but overall what we stripped out of the interior seats all the trim the spare wheel i've totted up and don't take my word for this because it's just a guesstimate because i, I to weigh it properly you need to go to a weigh station and actually get the full weight but we have lost in my mathematical ability here about 90 kilograms out of the interior now obviously when you're going to put a seat back in it to go racing, you're going to add weight back in. But the idea is by removing the main seat, you're saving a hell of a lot of weight because an aftermarket seat is going to be one. It's going to be either carbon or uh, fiberglass or aluminium, something like that. Uh, the base mounting plate is going to be way, um, way more lighter. You won't have the seat belt to worry about because they weigh an absolute ton, the seat belts. Um, but yeah, all the stuff like that. So just by saving some weight... It will make the car feel faster because obviously it's a diesel, so it's got a power deficit anyway. And on track, it's going to be quite exciting to see what this is actually like. I'm quite excited for it because I like being different and it's cool and quirky. And at the end of the day, you should just go and do it because it puts a big smile on your face. And I don't know why you should let anyone judge you. If it makes you happy, just go and do it. And I cannot wait to take this out on track and just have a complete laugh with it. Because at the end of the day, if you're not enjoying it, why are you doing it? 
So yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed watching me strip out the entire back, really, of the interior of this and the seats. But looking forward in the future to do the doors, the airbags, all the rest of the, the stuff that's still in there. I, you know, go even further, removing the sound dead and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Please don't forget to subscribe so you can look forward to more content on this build. And I will see you in my next video, guys. Take care. See you then.